Yes, yes. Good morning, uh, Wolf and Wheels Electrical Services. Welcome to another episode of Electrician TV. I'm absolutely down in the dumps. We lost 2 0 to Tottenham, but less said about that, the better. Right, so we're back at this farm. What we're going to do is we're getting rid of all this, and it's all going in the new, uh, I think it's a uh, six way Hager board, which we've already got mounted, but which we'll show you. What we've got here, this is a supply, and this goes to another part of the farm. And what, what originally problem they had is the RCD, the main one downstream, 100 milliamps, was getting knocked out. And so what, because this has been doubled up in the isolator, we're putting a four pole isolator. So it switches the neutral. So if there is problem further upstream, we can isolate it pretty much like all this. I think this is the diesel bowser. These are the four lights, which we've done. And then two, two fives up there are actually for the sockets that we've done. And there's a chemical store and there's a roller shutter and all that sort of jazz. So we're going to combine it all in and clear this all up. We're here for a couple of days doing it. I think we're going to mount it on Unistruck just to uh, protect it all because this ferret, you know, has obviously uh, been affected by it all. You know what I mean? And that's how we're going to do it. <laughs> So we're just up at the office, Ollie's making all the board up and all that. So what he's done out of shot there is these cut the paxil in. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the paxil in in between that and the trunking. This actually does say in the manufacturers that you don't actually have to use any cable protection on that. But we always like to and all. And plus it's nice practice for Ollie as well, cutting it all and all that. He's going to get the first one. So we've marked it all out. So we've done that as a template. So now it is going to uh, cut probably a 40 mil or 20 mil, 25, 32 mil hole. So it's smaller than that. So it shouldn't touch. And then when we get the trunk in sorted, which is just around the corner there, is literally going to, we're going to butt that up and then probably cut the same size hole as that. And then obviously it's never going to touch, is it? You know what I mean? And that's how we're going to do it. So we've, we've got it all made up here because you're no doubt in the later on in the video, you'll see us up at the farm doing it all, but it's just a lot nicer and easier, a bit more organised up here. That's the trunk in there ready to go, isn't it, Ollie? Yeah. This hardboard, we got that this morning. That's for enough of job work we're doing at enough of farm. Just seem to be working for farmers at the moment, Ollie. We actually yeah. quite like the farmers, yeah, to be are. fair. They're pretty decent. They get left alone. So, yeah, all sorted then, Ollie, yeah? Yeah. So we put this... Uh, oh, I'll get it that way so you can see the light, yeah? Yeah, so it's shining off, so... So we put this bit of packaging up to the bottom of the board where that cutout is. We've, uh, we did a pencil mark of that. Then we measured centre of that and... Um, it's 50 mil off either, yeah, 50 either side. Mil off. And then with a 32 mil hole saw, because it's not as big as the, uh, the width of that, we've um, drilled in the centre. So it's not going to be bigger than the uh, the hole on the board. Yes, and then we're just going to go down there, and it's, that's going to be smaller than that. Nice yeah. one, case. Get that all. And then we've got to do that with a jigsaw. Yeah, go on then. So, so what are you doing? So why are you, what are you using these for? Um, we, where we've cut this, it doesn't have the pre-drilled cutouts for the screws. So on the other end where it does have the pre-drilled cutouts, we put it up alongside it. So using it as a template, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice one. Pretty nice, right. With a nice bit of LTJ book on me in the background, isn't it? Yeah, bosh. Like a bit of logical progression. It's a fucking banging album. It's about 20 years old and it's still an absolute banger. Well, uh, Cav 77 you're having tomorrow. I am excited. You put them on, say. Go on then. If you could do us a favour and look, look for the... <laughs> You're so close. Show, show, show us... Yeah, you've got to come close. I don't want to sit a show on the back of the thing. I don't know. Oh, well, go on. Show your support for if the you channel. Could do us a favour and show your support for the channel. If you could like, follow, and subscribe, and flick wheels, me, bosh. It helps the channel grow. It helps the channel grow. We've got it all shook down now as well, so it's all off the wall. We've got it all coming in. The only problem we've got is this socket here is how we're going to incorporate it. Because it's going on shallow units, right? It should probably sit above these armors, so that should be pretty clear. And then we've got a load of rotary isolators for all this stuff. And this, it's, all it is is if the RCD starts tripping, at least we've got somewhere to isolate it all and all that jazz. It's all locked off, so one of these is a supply. One's a sub, mate. 
And other than that, we're getting there on it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're cracking on. Didn't take it too long to strip that down. We got all the unit struck done and all that. Get that nice and shiny. Yeah. Right up. Come on, you blows. So we're just literally marking up the uh, three isolators that are going on the top. So chemical stores, roller shower and diesel bars just literally so just so we can switch to neutral that's all we were after that's all we want yeah then we've got to put enough for isolate on the bottom as well really. we'll get that all done before we mount it all yeah yeah so they're all drilled out got a little spacer between we're obviously using the uh female bushes just to keep give the cable a little bit of protection then we're going to run a unistrut across the top bit there and bolt them back but yeah it's come out right and it we'll just marry it up and then see where we're going to put that that isolator there yeah yeah okay. get that hung up and see because it all depends on where the uh all depends on where that supply uh that sub main comes from in it we've got a rare appearance by races up here as well this afternoon just doing that isolator Yes, yes, Racy, baby. Yes, yes, Everyone thinks you've been killed off, don't they? No. You ain't been in any of my moody uh, YouTube videos recently, have you? No, I've been but, hiding, I? But you finished that job in walking now, haven't you? So, well, it's just... Without the kitchen, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that kitchen's changed again, hasn't it? Yeah. It's like, she told me that it was going to maybe even change again this morning, and I was like, no. Yeah. Yeah, so what I'll do is uh, the next day now, so I'll give you a little progress report. So what we've done is we've got this. This is the sub main that's going to come off the circuit here. So we're going to put that away, got that way nice and neatly. What we've got is the four lighting circuits, two come from this way. They're going to come into the top there and the others are going to come into the top there. That is going to be extended by Copex. That is only plastic conjure. That we're going to try and reroute to get a bit of length into that. That is for what they call the chemical store, but it's just a container, it's not actually a chemical store. And this one is for the diesel bowser and all that, but it's getting there on here, isn't it? It's looking quite neat and tidy and all that, tidying that up. Yeah. We've got, this is actually a redundant cable, but we don't know what it does, but it may be in the future, the farmers actually forgot what it's for. So then rather, so we're gonna hopefully get this all wide and done today, and it? it's a little bit chuffed chilly this morning though Ollie isn't it yeah it's not great it's got the old hat on but we're gonna get there and hopefully knock it out today we'll give you a bit of a progress report eh, on it but oh, I was telling Ollie about this morning about the chant we were giving to Harry Kane before he went on to score it was uh towards him <laughs> yeah so cruel but so funny so just a quite quick little update what i'll show you what we're doing so we're literally just making their marmots off ollie's just doing the adapter there for uh the uh thing got them two in there we've drilled for up the top there to bring them ones neater through there that fatter one is going to go into that one and then i think it's two there then the sockets we still got to do something with this socket i can't really decide what i want to do whether to bring it up there and then over back over like that i don't know We'll see, but we're just trying to get all the cables in and then we're going to second fix it all at once. Well, Ollie's going to do it because he's not done a three phase board yet. So, yeah. Hey, Ollie. Yeah. It's all pretty simple, but we're getting there though, guys, aren't we? Yeah. We're making progress. Yeah, so what I've used there is the CK Armour Slice. A lot of people get a bit upset about this, but it's such a simple, easy idea. It's just a little bit of junior that you you do. I think it's 20 rotations, and then it usually comes out perfect. Like, can you see in that? Mm -hmm. Looks perfect. Makes it simple, easy. You know, a lot of people get uptight about them, but I think they're all right. I think they're great. Yeah. This is the Ergo Strip. I'm sure you've seen this before. See, it's got a little blade at the top there. It's got loads of different things. But one of the things that it does massively stand out on, which I hate to admit, but there's no better way of stripping the inner core. Yeah, so I literally get it like that. Then I'll see this blade here. There, I'll run it down there. Yeah. Yeah. 
just get the cores, put it out like that. Yeah, and I hate to admit it, but there's not probably a better way of doing it. All right, just a quick update. Ollie's just making up of them three armors. We've got them all pre-drilled. We've just got all our things. We've got all them isolators. We're going to, once he's got them done, he's going to fix up back all them armors and that uh, Copex there. So what we've done is we've taken that out. We've put a bung on that. And then we've just literally brought it down to there. This is this one. We've got that second fix. Got that all done. So it's just mainly the board this afternoon, Ollie, isn't it? Yeah. And we've just uh, we link these two uh, we link these two out, and then we will bring one down for the for the banjo. We we'll just use that. I think we've got that four mil or six mil worth here. Yeah. We we'll just all that, but we've done all these ones. We we need to blow it down. Once we've done that bit, we will blow it all down before we second fix here. Yeah. But yeah, it's getting there. It's looking nice. It is actually going to be in some form of enclosure as well. The uh, farmer's got to build it, so. Yeah, but we're getting there, aren't we? It looks good. Yes, yes, yeah. So we got it all second fixed now. It's turned out all right. Looks neat enough, doesn't it? Really, for what it is. Um, we are back here Friday because we've got to label it all. So we're gonna have to. We've we've t dead test everything and we've done a few live tests. Most is all been rewired, as you can see, and we're literally gonna be back Friday to relabel it and all that because it is now quarter to five and we want to go home because it's Tuesday night football. Bang. Yes, yes. Good afternoon, fellow Groove Riders. So we're just at the back of this farm, just testing it all off. Where we changed the board, I see uh, Adam from South Manchester. He was changing one of these yesterday, but we've only got three beans. We've only got three beans. Ours is an old Europa, which is also known as a rugby. Yes, so it's Friday afternoon. We've come back. So like, basically, we finished it the other day. We had all the dead tests and we did do a few loops anyway. But we're back this afternoon to test it all. It's Friday afternoon. And look, I'll just quickly show you this. I'm, I don't know if you've seen it in the other videos, but what we've done is we've made these up. We we have it in that commercial uh, box there, which we just converted. We've obviously got five amps because a lot of our customers have that, but we just got the kick plugs and it just helps out because uh, the farmer's just been around with the cage and we've been up to all the lights. If you pan up and see that they're all on the ground. We've got all them tested, so it just makes it a lot easier. You know what I mean? So we're just literally here, just gonna finish it, test it all. Didn't turn out too bad. Not the neatest ball I've done, but it took me two hours, Ollie, didn't it? So yeah. it is what it is. We we're here, we, we, we're talking it all up today as well, even though I think I learned it the other you day. You did but, it the other day, yeah. But we'll do it again, and we're just gonna talk it, label it all up, and get it all signed off and all that. So we'll catch at the end when it's all labeled. It's a lot colder today. Yes, yes. So, right, so that's us done now. So that's all nice and labelled and all that. If you come a bit closer, I'll give them a quick show. Have gone closer? Just come. <laughs> come closer. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> come here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, this is all labelled and all that, so you can see. Obviously, some of this stuff is like uh, the video last week. Yeah, I could go back now, Ollie. Uh, like the video last week, some of this stuff, the way it's labelled, even though it is a uh, farm, like uh, I think someone pulled me up on it last week, which is fair enough. It's just that, you know, where we done that board in that uh, grain store, even though we called it a grain store, and I did, you know what I mean? It's not actually a grain store, is it? It's actually a workshop, but like the same with this, like, like it's cattle shed, you know what I mean? There, are, there has not been livestock on this farm for 30 years, is there? You don't get like fields like that round our way, do you, Ollie? Nah. You know what I mean? It's a wearable farming. Anyway, that's us all done. And the reason, just to recap, is the reason why we put all these isolators on here and everything is because you've got a 100 milliamp uh, RCD down there. This is a TT system to here. And you've obviously got like uh, RCD protection on the commander sockets. RCD protection on the chemical store, diesel power, and the sockets, and all that. But this, uh, this RCD, and this goes to an upper board. And the reason why we put this isolator on there is that it switches the neutral, the same as all of those, yeah. And that is that done for another video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget if you're gonna be anything, then just put your hands together for Chelsea this weekend. We need your support. Up the old blows. Thanks for watching. Be electric. That's not been an electrician, Hollis.